Good morning to all of you. My devotion to Our Lady of Naju started when I was 10 years old. I love watching religious shows like the Family Rosary Crusade. And every year, I always watch on TV the televised Palm Sunday recollection of Father Jerry Orbos. There, I was introduced to Our Lady of Naju. Also, when I was 10 years old, I received my first communion. There at a very young age of 10, I consecrated myself to the Blessed Virgin Mary so, and to Jesus, whom I called my Eucharistic Lord and King. Our Lady of Naju is always in my mind, even I entered the seminary at the age of 16. The devotion was always there. And my parents had the three pictures of Our Lady of Naju, which you can see on that side which were laminated together and hanged at our family altar. Mm. So in 2005, when I was in Germany attending World Youth Day, there were a group of German devotees distributing leaflets of Our Lady of Naju. Mm. Seeing their devotion to Our Lady inspired me more. So when I was ordained a priest in 2007, I was assigned in cathedral I brought with me that devotion to Our Lady of Naju and introduced it to the parishioners where I was assigned. So I wrote a letter to Mama Julia in 2007 telling her my devotion and what I am doing, promoting the devotion to Our Lady of Naju. In response, she sent me my first Naju rosary and the scapular, which I faithfully wear until it was worn out. I wrote again here in Naju, and they sent me DVDs and magazines which I exhibited in my parish so that parishioners may see the wonders, the graces and miracles here at Naju. Every month I am gathering devotees to pray the Holy Rosary, to reflect on the certain part of the messages of love, after which I will ask them to venerate the Naju Rosary by kissing the crucifix with particles of rocks or soil from Naju. And this is the rosary which I always used to pray over people. And they have received so much graces by using these rosaries. Many answered prayers uh, were uh, granted because of uh, praying these rosaries. Aside from the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you have with you a part of Naju whenever you have this rosary always in your pocket. And as I always tell people, when in times of darkness, in times of temptation, in times of doubts, when you have your rosaries in your pocket, you can easily pull it out. And when you are holding your rosary as if you are holding the hands of the Blessed Mother. And when you are holding the Blessed Mother's hands, she will always lead you to the source of all blessings and graces. It was my long-time dream of having an image of Our Lady of Naju. Actually, I was communicating through Facebook so that we may be able to expose an image during the monthly prayer meeting because we were just exposing the laminated pictures. The dream of having an image came to reality when I met Tita Liz, who was a pilgrim here also. She visited me and while she was there, she kept on telling me her experiences here in Naju, showing me uh, her pictures with the image, her scapular, and everything about Naju. After she said everything, I told her, Tita, I was a devotee of Our Lady since when I was 10. And she was very happy knowing that. I have two dreams. First, having an image. Second, my young boy's dream to visit Naju. And she was very happy knowing that and promised me to give an image and to bring me to Naju. And uh, now I'm here because yeah, of uh, Tita Liz. And of course, my gratitude to Tita Rodora for making everything possible from the application of visa to buying of tickets and booking everything. <laughs> when the image arrived, when I opened the box, the smell of roses was so strong that uh, the whole convent was uh, filled with it. I remembered Father Jerry Orbos telling us that the smell of roses tells us that the Blessed Mother is present at that time and at that place. That was Tuesday. And so I asked permission from my bishop if I could enshrine the image of Naju at the cathedral 
the following Sunday. And he gave me permission. On that Sunday, the image was brought on a solemn procession and enshrined near the sanctuary of Cathedral. In promoting Our Lady of Naju, we generously shared the Naju holy water. I asked them, the way asking those who received the Naju water, to just put a drop in a glass of water to drink. Since then, people keep on telling us the healing that occurs in them by using the water and through the blessed image of Our Lady. Yeah, that's the distribution of that's the procession Ikaw of uh, Jesus of mercy and glory. Yeah, that's the procession. One lady, Sister Manding Gasilao, told me that she has a big tumor in her left neck that the doctor wanted to be operated. I asked her to put a drop of Naju water in every glass of water she is taking since we have limited supplies of Naju water. And she said, now the tumor was gone. And she promised me that she will join next year, June, to be able to give her healing testimony here. With all these experiences, my desire to bring Our Lady of Naju to as many people became more intense. And so I started bringing the image that was enshrined in the cathedral to the different government offices, the schools, chapels, and even other parishes within the prelature. The pictures of the visit of Mama Mary to different places. And during the visit of the image, we preached about the importance of praying the rosary, of family devotion to the Blessed Mother, and the messages of love of Our Lady and of Jesus. We also distribute Nadja water and prayer cards praying that they can also experience the so many miracles, especially healing, that I myself and other people have been experiencing. So, we gave the copy, Pope Francis, the copy of all the happenings here in Naju. So, I got the chance of uh, meeting him face to face. So, while giving him the Naju documents, I really said to him, Holy Father, please review the Naju miracles. The Pope responds, si, si. That means yes, yes. <laughs> and also, I met with Cardinal. We celebrated Mass at St. Philomena. And then, I attended the anniversary of the finding of the relics of St. Philomena since I am the one in charge of Center 15 of the Universal uh, Arch Confraternity in honor of St. Philomena. I thought of giving him also the documents about Naju so that he may be aware and telling him the story about how Cardinal Ivan Diaz supported Mama Julia, supported the miracles that are happening here in Naju. And Cardinal seen support to Mama Julia by inviting her, filling the Cuneta Astrodome during that time. And as of the moment, the image of Our Lady of Naju is continuously visiting government offices, schools, chapels, villages, and more and more devotees are being attracted to her. I had my, uh, this is the visit to the different uh, patients in the hospital. I can just tell them, I have my healing experience. I have uh, insomnia. I can't really sleep at night. But when Sister of Naju knew about it, Naju sent me the complete set of the blanket. And when I used the blanket and then the beddings, that very evening I slept very early. And I really, I sent a message to Sister the following morning. I slept so early and I woke up very refreshed, feeling refreshed. And I have a long time problem with my uh, headache Good. caused by my eyes. Ah. Astigmatism. Ah. I have my astigmatism. Ah. So I wore the mini like that. Ah. Because I have my problem with Maybe the eyes that causes ah. my ah. headache ah. overnight. I just ah. did this and in the morning ah. the pain ah. was gone. I will always be a humble servant of Our Lady of Naju and of Jesus of mercy and glory. I will serve the Blessed Mother and Jesus until my last breath. I will die promoting their messages of love. Amen. Thank you, Mama Julia. Thank you, Our Lady of Naju.
Thank you, Lord Jesus of mercy and glory. Amen.